Moving on now, the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, with sponsorship from the Norwegian government, has held a training of trainers workshop on further production in Medjugorje. The workshop targeted at government extension workers and partners in Borno, Adamawa, Yobe and Taraba State advised Nigerians to explore alternative animal feed production. Details in this report. Climate change has reduced rainfall, leading to diminished forage on ranch lands. This imbalance between livestock numbers and available fodder creates challenges for herders and farmers alike as they work to provide for their families and communities. One solution is to train both groups to access resources more efficiently, reducing the need to compete. So, all right. So now, if for example, if it's so the Food and Agricultural Organization (FAO) is also promoting alternative feedstock production methods, which can decrease the demand for grazing land and further alleviate this issue. The second phase of the training of trainers' workshop aims to equip 22 participants with skills and knowledge needed to produce alternative stock. This hands-on training was designed to address the challenge of feed scarcity faced by farmers in the northeast region. The feeds that we are training them to either formulate or produce is an alternative to natural grasses that is supposed to have. Because the animals are herbivorous, they are all herbivorous, they are plant eaters. On the second day, the participants were taken on a field experience to learn practical techniques for making fodder and feed. The training also aims to benefit 40 individuals, including women, who will subsequently impart these skills to 825 farmers and herders. It is high time the herders themselves produce their own uh, uh, feed uh, through this pasture development. And, uh, that knowledge that they have will assist them in, the, in producing their own feed and also in liaison with the farmers to now get the crop residues from the farmers and add value in a very symbiotic uh, relationship with them. That there should be enough of pasture and there should be enough of an effective program of on this animal feed and fodder to ensure that the ever-growing livestock sector have enough of the feeds so that that competition of scarce resources of feed and land water uh, by farmers and herders will be reduced in such a way that the livestock owners can have their lives can have enough feed for their livestock without necessarily encouraging into farms. Uh, the institute has demonstrated and completed uh, extensive research into alternative feeds, into further value addition to crops. And that is why I, as a research person, will be invited to this program and uh, to demonstrate value addition to crop residues. Keep it off our farmers after harvesting the leaf, the, uh, the stock, the straws in the field to decay like that. But now it's a very valuable feed source. It can be crushed and uh, add, uh, add some value to feed your livestock. Uh, also, the use of hydroponics, which is uh, a new uh, area, is uh, also a very good uh, source of alternative feed to our livestock. Give us knowledge on further production and how we formulate alternative feed from the normal conventional feeds that uh, the farmers normally produce for their animals. So here we have gotten an alternative way on how the farmers can make a, a fit for all year round for their animals. The way is we have been taught on how to prepare hydroponics. We have been taught on how to how to better market our product and then also how to also add value to our product. The project funded by the government of Norway aims to reduce conflict between farmers and herders in Nigeria by improving pasture development. This is essential for livestock production, animal health, and the overall sustainability of farming systems. 
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.